For our cave art, we're gonna be using a piece of cardboard that actually came from the cafeteria. So we are going to slowly rip just a little bit off of the edges. Take your time doing this so you don't accidentally rip your paper in half. This paper is actually used to separate the juices in the boxes that they are delivered in. So you wanna do that to all the sides. If one of your sides ends up a little funky, that's okay, it, it works with what we're doing. But make sure you take your time I will say the shorter sides are a little bit harder to rip because you're going what they would say against the grain of the cardboard so it makes it a little harder to do so now we're ready to start painting i'm giving you brown orange and kind of like a tan color and I usually just take my brush and kind of blot it on there and kind of mix my colors. It doesn't need to be anything perfect. We're just trying to make it kind of resemble um, the look of cave art and cave painting. So you want to fill almost all of your paper. Leave a little bit of an edge off to the side so we can still see the color that your paper was. But if you accidentally get too close to the edge, it's not a big deal. And it's fine to layer your colors and you just want to make sure you don't have any spots that are too dark because then you might not be able to see your drawings over top of it. So now we want to use our pencil to draw our different cave art objects that we practiced. Remember, tracing your hand is one object as well. So you want to do everything in pencil just so that if you mess up, you can erase it. And there will be parts you might need to draw a little darker so that you can see your pencil line. And if some things are kind of cut off on the edge, like you won't be able to see uh, the back of my animal right here, that's okay. You can see most of it and that's what I care about. Or if things kind of look like they're overlapping, that works too. So now I'm going to use my oil pastels to color things in. With the handprint, I like to trace it and I push pretty hard. Um, I like to trace it in a color and then kind of smear it or spread it out, but I don't usually color in the hand. You can. I've seen people do it both ways and it looks fine either way, but I typically just kind of outline it and then spread my oil pastel uh, to make it look more similar to the handprints in the cave art. So when I do my animals, I like to pick one main color and then I overlap some other colors to lighten it up and darken it in places depending on the color that I'm using. And then typically for like the eyes, you'll want to use black to be able to get that to show up. But you can see I'm smearing in the white to kind of lighten up that color, make it look a little different. And I'll do the same thing on my horse, just with different colors. If you want, you could go back and outline them with a black oil pastel, but I don't think you have to. It just depends on if you're having trouble seeing your animal or if it's just not showing up very well, but I don't think it's absolutely necessary. 